Hi guys, it's Andy from Andy Wilcox Electrical. Today I'm going to show you how to change a ceiling rose or a light fitting. And it's one of the things that always gets the DIYer. You go to Ikea on a bank holiday Monday and you see these beautiful light fittings. You bring them home, you take down the existing light fitting, the existing ceiling rose, and like a thousand different wires fall out and you start to sweat and swear a lot. And that's when you have to end up calling people like myself. So I'm going to show you step by step how a ceiling rose system is wired and then I'm going to show you how to change it. So the tools you need for this job are a small terminal screwdriver, possibly a crosshead Phillips screwdriver, a small pair of snips and an electrical tester. So let's get on with it. So we're going to have a look at changing the ceiling rose, but first of all, you have to make sure it's dead. So let's go and turn off the fuse board. So here we are at the fuse board. We need to locate the fuse, which is feeding that light circuit. So if we pop down the front here, let's have a look along. We're on downstairs lights. That's where we're working, so downstairs lights is off. Pretty sure that's the one, but I'm going to test that in a minute. One little extra precaution I like to do is put a piece of tape over the fuse that we're working on, just in case some friendly pillar comes along and puts that fuse back on. Of course, everybody in the house should know what you're doing and what you're working on and instructed not to turn any fuses on. But I just like to do this just for peace of mind, really. Stick that back up. Let's go and check us off. So that looks like the one. Looks like I've got the right fuse there, but don't be taking it for granted. This bulb might have blown as soon as you walked out the room. So we always have to test things with an electrical tester to make sure it's definitely dead before we work on it. So let's unscrew it. And I know what you're thinking as soon as that comes down, you're thinking, ah, oh my God, what are all those cables? Don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through a scene in rows, how it's wired step by step. But I have to make sure that it's dead and isolated when we're working on it. So we're gonna test it with our testers. So the first thing we're gonna check is between lines and neutrals. So lines in the middle, neutrals on the end there. You can see that's dead. Now I'm going to check between live and earth. So the live's there. And there's the earth terminal. That's dead as well. And now I'm going to check between neutral and earth. And I'm pleased to say all of them are dead. But you have to go and reprove the tester. So go off somewhere else where you know something is live, maybe the upstairs lights or a socket or something like that, and just test that to make sure that these lights come up and make sure the tester is still working so you know that this is definitely dead. So let's have a look inside. So I know what you're thinking, oh my God, what do all those cables do? So to an electrician, this is quite straightforward to see in rows, but to a DIYer or someone who's never done electrics before, it can be very confusing. But don't worry, I've drawn step-by-step -step diagrams on my computer and I'm going to take you through them step-by-step -step so you know exactly how a ceiling row system works and exactly how to wire it. Let's jump on the computer. Okay guys, let me show you this very simple ceiling row system. It's quite simple when we put it on diagrams like this. And I've just done two or three diagrams just to show you exactly how it works. And first of all, let's look at these ceiling rows and let's say that these are in different rooms, okay? So this one's in the kitchen, this one's in the living room, this one's in the dining room. So they're in different rooms along with their individual switches in the different rooms as well. So what happens is from the fuse in the fuse board, it will send down a permanent live neutral and earth to the first ceiling rows in the system. In there, we link that together and we send that out a permanent feed to the next ceiling rows in the next room. In there, we link that together and we send out a permanent feed into the next room and so on and so on until you get to the end of the line like this one is here. And then the third cable in there goes down to the light switch of that room. So that is why you've got three cables in the ceiling rows. Let's have a look in those cables. Let's have a look what they do. So in the ceiling rows, you would have these three cables. One will be a twin and earth cable with the power coming in. That's either come from the fuse board or from a previous ceiling rose. So you've got a live neutral and earth coming into the ceiling rose. The second cable will be the power feed going out to the next ceiling rose. So that will be a live neutral and earth going out to the next ceiling rose. And then the third cable is where it changes a little bit. That is a switch wire. And that is usually a twin and earth as well. And let me show you how that works. So we send a permanent live down that wire there, down the brown wire, down the live cable, and down to the light switch when you turn the switch on, it will send the live, that permanent live, back up that cable there to switch the ceiling rows on. So this cable is not a neutral cable. So if you're using new colours, it would be brown and blue, where usually the blue is neutral. And if we're using old cables, it's red and black, where usually the black is a neutral. In this case, that is not a neutral cable, that is a live switched cable. And that means we have to tell people that that's live. So we have to put a brown piece of sleeving on there or a red piece of sleeving if we're using the old colours. So let me show you again how that simply works. Live in, uh, live feed out, in and out, and live feed in and out there. Okay, so that's how it works. So let's look in the ceiling rows and see how that works. Let's start simply here. All the earths must go together 
in this earth block here and they're all joined together to ensure that the earth goes across all the three cables then let's look at the three terminals that we've got in the middle we've got the switch to live terminal here we've got the permanent live uh, terminal here and we've got the neutral terminal here so let's start with the middle one all your lives all your reds or all your brands will come to this middle terminal so let's say that's the live coming in let's say that's the live going out to the next ceiling rows and this one let's say this is the live going down to the switch so you see i put it in that that twin earth there here we have the neutrals so that will simply be the neutral coming in and the neutral going out and then we'll have one cable left over which is a which is a blue or a black and that is the switch where i remember that is the live going down to the switch the switch gets turned on and the live comes back up here and it switches in there and it, and it makes this terminal live when this the switch is turned on and off so when that's turned on live when that live comes up this cable that will make this flexible cable live and that will turn your pendant on and then the neutral will go back down like that so i've taken down my old ceiling rose and i've put this new one up always take the pendant out it makes it so much easier to get to the cable so take away the pendant and put that down somewhere so you've just got the ceiling rose to work on so i've split all my cables up so i like these to be all straight before i put them in because it makes it so much easier when you're trying to get cables back in so straighten these all out as much as you can it just so happens that there's four cables in this one because they've taken another supply probably to an outside light i'm guessing but don't worry there's only ever one switch wire so i've got them all separated what i like to do i always like to get the reds in first in the middle so they will go in the middle terminals there and in that end one there i'm going to double that up because i've got four cables in there so let's get that one in there like that and you need your little terminal screwdriver for this check they're in there yeah that one's nice and tight then number two terminal let's get the cable in there beautiful nice and tight and then the last live so as you see all the reds all the lives have gone together in the middle terminal then you might be using brown and blue system so that means all the browns go in there that one's nice and tight as well they're in their beauty and let's push them down so it makes it nice and neat there we go next one's going to be the switch wire remember that's got a red piece of sleeve on it and that goes to the terminal in the ceiling with only two holes in it that's the switch wire terminal let's flatten it down and let's do that up nice and tight that's not going to come back out and that red sleeve in tells me that it's live and then finally i've got my neutrals down the end here and because i've got four cables i'm gonna have to double one of these terminals up that goes in like that they're in there let's do that up nice and tight beautiful they're not coming out then the final neutral goes in Let's push them down so it looks nice and neat. I love things being neat. I hate messy wiring. Beautiful. Check those cables aren't going to come out. They're all in there. None of them are loose. I've got all the terminals done up nice and tight. They're all in there of beauty. Let's push that down so it makes it nice and neat and it makes the Cena Rose cover go back on. Also got my earths in there nice and tight too. So now we can put the pendant in and then jobs are good. So pendant the, the flex is always wired in brown and blue so brown goes in the switched wire remember because that's the one that becomes live wrap that around that little peg there and then blue is the neutral goes right down the end terminal down there just need to loosen that off a little bit there we go see that that's nice and tight that goes around that peg there and then he's ready to go let's go and turn it back on see if you've done a good job so let's pop back in let's get it down let's take that fuse tape back off my magic tape 
Let's turn that fuse back on. Let's go see if we've done the job. Ta-da! Look at that. Fantastic. Jobs are good in. One thing to always check when you've turned it back on, just make sure the switch turns the light on and off again. Just make sure you haven't got any cables round the wrong way. That's working beautifully. So, there we go. That's how to change the scenery rose. Good luck. So, I hope that video has helped you and you've managed to get that job done okay. But listen, I don't want you to end up like this fellow here, electrocuting yourself, because electrics can be really dangerous and really harmful. So if you're not confident with what I've just shown you, or you need any help on anything electrical at all, just give me a call on the number which is here, which is 01789 228 021, or go to the website where you can request an appointment and I can come around and I can help you and give you a quotation on the work that you need. I hope the video's helped you and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.